ethnic, uh, they begin to determine even what we call feeble-mindedness, what it, we call violent, over-aggressive, slowful, lazy. I mean, these are the things that they feel that they want to control, even the behavior of people. Look and at black men in Tuskegee. Look at our own atomic soldiers. Yes. The, the government does these tests to also test their own people and create cadres of mad scientists that will follow these orders. Well, I, I, it's scary, but we can do it. We can turn it around. We can turn it around. Well, how do people get you to come speak in their area? Or how do people read your website, become leaders like yourself, and stop the mass murder in their town? Well, the good news is that there's people like myself that are being uh, birthed each day. It seems like I'm getting emails off my website, blackgenocide.org. And if there's an organization or a church or you want to somehow uh, do something to get me out there or someone near and our network to get to you, I most certainly will discuss that with you. We're seeing a wave of uh, social activism beginning to finally uh, surface, and I think well, it's a uh, God thing. But uh, we, you can reach me, blackgenocide.org. I also have another website, obamination.com. I did that website in 2007 in an attempt to let the African-American community to know of the agenda of Barack Obama, and I'm going to repeat, 2007. But uh, nevertheless, I, I went, <laughs> I went unheard. But the website is there, ObamaNation.com. We're going to upgrade it with some new articles. You can get in touch with me off of either one of those websites. Well, we really appreciate the work you're doing because the heart of the new world order is this wish to be God, to control technology, to use it against the people instead of empowering uh, the people and the UN, all these groups state they want a world government with a fake environmental tyranny to control every facet of our lives. And it's not coming. It's already here. Mm. And if everybody wants to see their future, look at African-Americans. Look at blacks in Africa. Some countries, 45 percent of the people have HIV. This is all engineered. And if the government's been caught poisoning and killing blacks before, and then all the evidence shows they're doing it again now, Abortion, though it's 16 million dead blacks in America, is the tip of the iceberg. It is covert. If somebody will set up a system to make sure more than half of a race dies, they'll do other things covertly, and we've caught them. And that's what my film, Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement, covers. People can get the DVD at Infowars.com. And this issue is coming out because it took it took from the 1850s to the uh, 1940s for eugenics to go through one big wave of evil and people stand up against it. It then went underground. It's taken us another 60 plus years to wake up to it again. But we're waking up to these devils and we're going to run them back in their holes with the help of people like the pastor we're talking to today. God bless you and I appreciate you for having me. <laughs> well, God bless you, sir. Uh, what if people out there don't have Internet? Let's say we got some poor East Austin black mothers or Hispanic mothers or white mothers listening right now, but they want to rise up and, and get politically active. Can you send them a packet of info, or uh, how can they uh, contact you? Uh, sure. Post, post Office Box 157, Montclair, New Jersey, 07042. Once again, uh, Reverend Childress, C-H-I-L-D-R-E-S-S, -S, Post Office Box 157, Montclair, New Jersey. We'll also be doing a uh, streaming live program starting in two weeks on the Internet. You can get that off of the website and All right. we'll be able to bring updates every day. Sir, to the movement. Pastor, keep up your amazing work. Godspeed, and uh, we're all praying for you. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you for having me, and you do the same, sir. God bless you. Take care. God bless you. And I don't want to hear, hey, there's too many people, you know, we got to break a few eggs. Like Pat Robertson said, what, 10 years ago that China was doing a good job with abortion? Oh, you're against abortion of white people, but you want to kill the Chinese and blacks. Folks, you're going to be killed too. Don't you understand? The New World Order wants everybody. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
Hi, Alex has been encouraging you to get food. Well, here's an unbelievable chance for you to jumpstart your food savings plan from eFoodsDirect.com. Anyone placing food orders on the large volume production run scheduled for the week of March 22nd can get a lot of food for very little cost. For example, with each pre-production order of three seven-day responders, they'll ship a fourth week of food free. That's buy three, get one free. They'll take orders from now until March 22nd. The following week, they'll produce huge runs of the pre-ordered food, passing the savings to you in this buy three, get one free program. Folks, this is the best chance to stock up you'll ever see. Another example, buy nine months worth of food and get three months free. You've got to go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex for the food buy of a lifetime. Or call 800-409-5633. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex or 800-409-5633. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue Diamond Gusset's got it, others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans, made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection, so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jeans got it, others don't. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Well, he's Shooter Jennings, a very accomplished uh, musician, songwriter in his own right. He plays to crowds, you know, 20,000, 30,000 people, plays with Willie Nelson and many others. He's got a whole bunch of hit albums, but uh, his new one, Black Ribbons, blew me away. Uh, I mean, eclectic isn't even the right word. It's like Pink Floyd meets Muse, uh, meets uh, you know renegade, rebel-type uh, country like his father. Uh, really amazing. And it's got Stephen King with intros. And, and Shooter originally wrote it, and then... King adapted it, so uh, amazing. And the shooter, I'm very proud. I'm honored. Also said a little bit of my ideas and uh, things went into it. It's a radio talk show host who's introducing these. And I've just made a list of some of the tracks we're going to play. We're going to play some of them in entirety, others uh, just in uh, pieces. There's a little bit of French in there uh, from, uh, of course, Stephen King. And being on AM and FM stations, we did clip some of that out, some of the non-King's English. And, of course, the website is Shooter. Like bang bang shooterjennings.com. We have it linked up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. And uh, shooter, it's great to have you back with us. Man, it's great to be on the air with you, buddy. Really. I noticed I noticed with this album you're using a lot of New World Order Illuminati symbolism out in the open. Is that to identify what we're dealing with? Yeah, a little bit. You know, and I feel like that when I kind of became inspired by this. I was driving across country and the economy collapsed and I was kind of witnessing all the fear mongering and all the, the kind of looming police state issues and things like that. And I really went and started digging and, and kind of took everything that I learned from people like you and, and, and all the people that are kind of making people aware of the um, kind of 
globalist agenda and the new world order and kind of put it all into a piece of art for people to take and absorb, you know? Well, it's powerful. Who did that art? Well, the, uh, the, the drawing on the front was uh, drawn, drawn by a guy named Mike Sportis, who's a great artist, who's a good friend of ours. And um, it, a lot of the artwork on the inside was a collaborative effort between a fantastic artist named Sonny Kay and myself, all, all of who are really into, like, Infowars.com and Reality Sandwich and a lot of these websites that, uh, and, and kind of information sources. And, you know, we're all kind of grew up in this world and are trying to understand it ourselves and